All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do a quick video on how to graph y equals the cosine of x. So y equals the cosine of x, this is going to be on a coordinate plane like this, right? And usually when we're graphing trig functions, especially sine and cosine, we don't draw the x and y axis to scale because, well, the for sine and cosine, the amplitude is 1. And we can put any angle we want in left and right. So you can go to negative infinity, positive infinity. Usually what we do is we just do one period. We say 0 to 360 degrees, right? So that's what we're going to do here. This is called one period. All right, now, there's some tricks and shortcuts that I'll show you here in a few minutes, but I want you to understand why the shape is the way it is because without that, you're going to mix up how cosine and sine work. So. Here, check this out. Let's do a t-chart. Let's put in zero, uh, the cosine of zero. Well, if you remember on the Cartesian coordinate plane, um, sorry, if you remember on the unit circle, so if we have our unit circle like this right here, uh, here's our first quadrant, right? So you got 30, you got 45, you got 60, and you got 90, right? And so the coordinate right here is one comma zero, right? This this right here is cosine. On the unit circle, cosine is the x and sine is the y. Do you see? And so what we have here is 0, 1. So the cosine of 0 is 1. And the cosine of 90 is 0. Do you see? So the cosine of, of 0 degrees is 1. And the cosine of 90 is 0. So check this out. Um, we're going to say this is 360 degrees right there. And so if that's 360, this would be 180. That's halfway. And this would be 90. So you see, we start at 0, 1 right here for cosine. And we're going to have one x intercept right there. And it's going to be going down from there. Do you see? So uh, cosine of 30 degrees, well, that's the square root of 3 over 2, which is the same as 0.866. And then you got 45 degrees which is 707, that's the square root of 2 over 2, and then you got 60, I'm kind of running out of room right there, which is 1 half. So 1 half right here, yeah? So 45 degrees is in the middle, and that's up here. It's above half. This would be about 30, and this right here would be somewhere about 60. So we have this curve that kind of looks like this. And I know I missed my points, but you got the idea, right? All right, now if we continue into the second quadrant, right, we've got 120, 135, 150, and then 180. Well, if we go back here to our unit circle, this is 180 degrees over here. The coordinate right here is negative 1, 0. You see? So at 180, at 180, we're going to have an output of negative 1, which is right here. The curve is going to look like this. You see? The curve is going to kind of look like that. That's half of the cycle. At 270, we cross right back through here again. And the reason we know this is true is, um, well, here, this is negative uh, 0.5, and this is negative 707, and this is negative 0.866. So when you plug cosine of 50 degrees into a calculator, or if you just remember how it works, or use a unit you know, circle for your reference, that's the output. And so if we continue this all the way around, like let's say we're here in our unit circle, this is, this is 270 degrees right here, and the coordinate here is 0, negative 1. So the cosine, 270 degrees, is 0, you see. So we have another x-intercept right there. And when we go back all the way around to 360, this is 360 degrees right here. When we go all the way around, we're back at 1, which is, which is uh, up here. So we're going to have to go right through here, like that. So that's that's one period of cosine, just regular y equals cosine of x. Now, uh, those periods repeat. So a period is like before it starts to repeat again. And, and if you look, everything that's going to happen here after 360 is the same thing that happened after 0. Because, well, this is the... You can do 360 plus all of these. 360 plus 30 is 390. The cosine of 390 is 
on 866, and it just repeats itself forever and ever. And that's why if you look on a graphing calculator, you end up seeing this curve kind of looks like this, and it goes forever in both directions, this wave-looking thing, right? Now, sine and cosine are really, really similar. The difference is sine starts here at 0, 0, and goes up, and um, it, ends, it ends here. So sine goes up, down, and up. So sine has, in one period, sine has three x-intercepts. So this one's sine, and this is cosine. Cosine has two. Uh, sine has x-intercepts at the beginning, the end, and the middle. And cosine has x-intercepts at the quarter marks, so at one quarter and three quarters. Has a minimum output at the halfway mark, and maximums at the ends. So. Cosine starts at 1, sine starts at 0, otherwise they're just shifted. They're the same exact shape, shifted left or right. So I hope this has been helpful. hope it gives you some insight on how to graph cosine, sine, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. You can look up more stuff on graphing trig functions and all that kind of happiness. Until uh, next time, I hope you guys have a great day.